Oh, hi, it's Rob. This is going to be another short one, so I'm going to try and compress a couple things into here. Uh, update. The dogs are barking. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. All right, they're they're outside on the uh, on the patio right now, so they're having all sorts of fun sniffing stuff, and they'll be back in in a second. Okay, first thing. The layoff I talked about last week has been rescinded. Or at least I'm hoping that it's not the world's worst April Fool's joke. Uh, I new project came up, came in, got restarted, and uh, I'm on it. And apparently it involves a robot arm. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Another update. Mostly for the uh, the people that have to go through um, the executorship and dealing with dealing with banks and all the other stuff. I got a refund check from Mom's credit card because she had some available points, and so they sent a check. It was like sixty dollars, made out to the estate of Nellie Whithoff. So I went down to drop it in her checking account which is, you know, I, the account is still active. I'm, both my sister and I are signatories on it. Unfortunately, because it was made out to the estate of, they couldn't deposit it into her account. They needed to create a, an estate account. I didn't know that this existed. Uh, actually, what ended up happening is the bank was uh, exceptionally nice, and they decided that since the amount was relatively small, they were just going to um, deposit it in the checking account and call it the estate account to satisfy the uh, the credit card company, which, yeah, it's really nice. Um, the people here are really nice. I mean, every person that I've run into so far has been really genuinely nice. Uh, kind people. I know that there are people here that are not, but the people that I have run into and the people I have dealt with have been really good. I have a couple of appraisers coming to take a look at the house. They are uh, getting a couple of, it's like getting a couple of estimates, uh, trying to find the value of the house because I got the relative market value of properties in the area, kind of an average of properties in the area, which doesn't really take into account the physical parts of the property, you know, the lot size and the state of state of things. Now, this house was built in 1986, and it hasn't been updated since then, so it needs some work. Some of it I can do. Uh, some of it's going to necessarily have to be contractors. Uh, but getting an idea of what the value is right now makes it much easier to deal with in the probate system. I, I don't even want to talk about probate yet. That's, we haven't even started on that. Um, one of the things that I want to do, or I think needs to be done for this house, is to install a water softener. <clears throat> Mom used to have a water softener. She used to have Culligan come in and swap the tanks. And, you know, Culligan is, I don't know, a monthly subscription sort of thing. And with water softeners these days, there's no reason to have a monthly subscription to the thing. You know, it's a, it, goes through backwash filter. I've done a lot of research on water softeners and water filters and uh, salt-free water conditioners and the whole bit. Uh, but in order to make the proper decision, what I am going to do is a water quality test. So I got this from Amazon. Not too much money, uh, but this will answer the questions about what is needed for filtering. Time to come in now? Thought so. I'm at the kitchen sink. Now, there is a scale filter installed in the main line of the system. However, due to <clears throat> some 
plumbing shenanigans, this particular faucet is not run through the filter. It is connected directly to the well. So this is the hard water coming in. So I'm going to draw some of the water and put it in this cup. Very cute. So the, there are two tests in here, uh, or two different kinds of tests. One is a whole bunch of test strips that test for uh, pH, hardness, hydrogen, sulfide, iron, copper, lead, manganese, chlorine, mercury, nitrates, nitrites, sulfates, zinc, fluoride, sodium chloride, and alkalinity, as opposed to pH. I, like this is part, parts per million. Uh, it goes with a little color chart. Uh, I haven't opened this yet, so I'm going to hold on to that. The second one is a bacteria test. And I thought this was kind of interesting. This is one of the reasons that I got this one as well. It uh, checks for E. coli. And this one takes, I think it's 48 hours to develop. The other one has to be done within 60 seconds. <laughs> so, uh, I guess the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the bacteria test. And um, we'll do the other test in, you know, just right after that. After carefully reading the instructions, I have discovered that the test tube is for the strips and the bacteria test it just uses the jar. So I am going to follow the instructions, wash my hands, uh, and then you know follow the instructions. It, basically they're printed on the bottle. Because I know you want to watch me fill a thing with water. Well that's very uh, energetic. Close enough. Put the cap back on. Vigorously shake for 20 seconds. Ooh, looks like we might got a mousey in here. I'm going to let that sit up here. Uh, this is mom's kitchen. The, uh, it's a good temperature for it. It's decently room temperature. The basement's colder, so it would take longer to develop. But this is, you know, 48 hours at room temperature. I already filled this with water. I mean, you've seen me run the faucet. You know that I'm capable. <clears throat> oh. This is interesting. Tony test strips per per package. Well, it's nice that the packages can stay sealed. So the test the test strips apparently change immediately. So. I'm going to put this back in here for now. So this can be sealed up again. And while yes, I could run this in the water from the sink directly, I'm going to use the handy, handy, handy tube tube. Okay, so looking at about a 7.5 on the acidity scale. Hardness, uh, yeah, we're very hard. No hydrogen sulfide, pretty much no iron. Wow, okay. A uh, little bit of copper, 
a little bit of lead, a little bit of manganese, almost no chlorine, no mercury, nitrate snow, sulfate snow, a little bit of salinity, overall alkalinity. Um, boy, that's down in between zero and 40. So the big one is there's hard water. This is some, yeah, hard to very hard water. So, well, that's, that's actually nice to know because that means that the, uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty good. All we really need is a water softener. So I do have a project that I have been working on out here. And of course, dogs are barking. Um, it isn't complete yet. It's close to it. Um, I just don't have, I don't have it completely finished and there's still a video that needs to be cut for it, but I think it's one that you'll like. Uh, it's been, it's taken some time to do it. It's not something that I was able to do just in a one-off. I've been trying to grab bits and pieces because a lot of my time has been spent working, uh, phone calls, calls to the bank, calls to appraisers. It's, you know, a lot of stuff that's just really, really freaking boring. Uh, and I know that boring is not something that I want to expose you guys to. But the dogs are happy. Uh, we went to Home Depot a little bit earlier today and they both got to run around Home Depot a little bit. Piper loves Home Depot because everybody pays attention to her and she gets treats. And we went to a couple of other places and, you know, they like getting out. Um, we play a lot and try and play a little bit every day and we'll play a little bit tonight. <sighs> the snow is going away. The dogs are barking at the train. <laughs> All right. Till next time. See you guys.